Hi everyone and welcome to episode 154 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. Um, there's probably not going to be any show notes for today's episode because I'm only going to show you two projects and yeah, so I'm not going to bother. But you know, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, there's a Ravelry group. Um, feel free to follow me on YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, whatever, you know, feel free to follow me everywhere, do whatever, you know. Um, I do this for me, not because I'm trying to make money or be popular, so if you want to follow me on social media, go for it, I'm not going to complain. Um, but you also don't have to. Um, anyways, uh, it's been a while. Uh, the last time I recorded was October, and it was um, after Rhinebeck, but I think before I went to SAF, or did I show off SAF? I, honestly, I don't remember. It's been like literally over a month. Um, but after my three weekend whirlwind of Rhinebeck, SAF, and then NAF, or the Fiber Festival of New England, um, I was just like really burnt out because <laughs> it was like three weekends of nonstop. And then it was straight into, into Thanksgiving. Like my mom and I had to bake all the pies for my family. And, um, and then I had two Thanksgivings. I had Thanksgiving with my family or well, my mom's side of my family. And I had Thanksgiving with Kevin's family. Um, so we had, my, we were, the two of us were at my family on Thursday and at his mom and stepdad's on Saturday. And now it is Tuesday after Thanksgiving and I finally had a few minutes to sit down and record and like I'm running behind this morning too, but I'm like, you know what, I need to get something out. Also, um, I haven't been able, I did record something in between, but I haven't been able to edit it and I figured I would just record fresh and da 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 because um, my computer basically cracked itself and I had to do a fresh install of Windows. I have all my files so like I didn't lose any pictures or, or anything like that. But, and I just realized how close I was leaning into the camera. I am so sorry. I'm like uh, looming, right? I didn't mean to do that. Um, so like I have like all my files, like my images and my documents and all that stuff is fine. But I had to do a fresh install of Windows, which meant that I lost the editing software that I use. And I didn't lose it. Like I still have the install file, but I couldn't find the paperwork with the serial number so that I could reactivate it. And I finally found it yesterday. So now I have it reinstalled and I can edit it edit this and like put my intro and my outro really more my my title card and my end credits is that because I don't think I'm going to edit this other than like trim the ends because this camera has a slight delay between when you hit the button and when it actually starts recording and sometimes there's like some secondary motion in there it's like I trim the ends a smidge but normally I don't cut out too much in the middle unless I like cough or sneeze really badly or, or something like that normally this is just me talking straight to camera and I'm trying to look at the and I'm out of practice so I'm trying to look at the lens and not at me because my face is above the lens and I'm trying really hard to look at the lens but I'm sorry if it looks like I'm looking above because I keep catching myself looking at the screen and not the lens. Um, so that's what's been going on. Um, I haven't had a lot of knitting. I've actually been on a video game kick the last couple of weeks. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. And by Pokemon, I mean I picked up a co copy of Alpha Sapphire. And, um, and I might have gotten myself a Switch with Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So <laughs> um, that'll be coming in the mail in the next couple of weeks because it's like backordered, but they said it would be in stock like next week, so I should get it the week after. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been on a bit of a Pokemon kick. Um, I'm back to I'm back to playing Pokemon Go. Um, I should post my friend code in case anybody wants to friend me on Pokemon Go. Um, and I've been playing more Animal Crossing again because I picked up Animal Crossing again because I'm like I should use my 3DS because I have one. So yeah, I've been playing more more video games. Um, yeah, so you know it's I don't know I haven't been on a Knitting kick. So I haven't done much. Um, I don't remember the last time I showed you these two projects, but this is going to be it for the projects. One is this vanilla sock I've been working on forever. I'm kind of regretting not doing the Hermione's every day now, but I'm stubborn enough that I'm just going to finish it because I'm almost on the first sock. So the last time I showed it to y'all, um, it was down here, right? So in the time since I've last shown this on the podcast, which I don't remember how long ago that was, probably sometime in October or September. Um, I was here, I've done the heel, done all this. I'm now gonna move the stitch marker. And um, hopefully next week, cause I'm hoping to record again next week, probably Thursday morning instead of Tuesday morning next week. Um, I will have finished this sock and started the second sock. That's my goal for this week is to finish this sock and start the second sock. Cause I want to get this off the needles. Um, oh, I've also been back to working on, I don't have it within reach. Um, my friend Sam 
Um, I told her I'd make her a Rockefeller. She bought the yarn. I'm doing the knitting. Um, it's sitting over by the coffee table, which is probably like four or five feet away, and I can't reach it without getting up, so I'm going to be lazy and not get it. But I finished the, the neck part, and I'm on to the main body part, if you know the Rockefeller. Um, the other thing I have been working on is this, which is my design I am working on for 100 Ravens. The last time I showed it to you, I had done that much, right? So I'd done... How many pattern repeats is that? One, two... I was on the third pattern repeat. So now I have... Now keep in mind that what I have done, there's twice as much work here than you can see because I screwed up my numbers because I'm making this pattern up and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I apparently can't count or read my own handwriting. It's not even read my own handwriting, it's read my own pithy instructions typed on the computer, right? I can't. So I actually had to... Right, I was up here, I had to, like I was down here, I had to rip back and do all of this again. So now I have done, one, two, three, four, five, now I'm on the sixth pattern repeat. So you can see how, see how the shawl is starting to grow. Um, it's a very simple shawl, but I'm not going to like say any numbers or what exactly I'm doing. If you can figure it out, great, but, so that's it. Um, yes, it's supposed to be very lacy, it's, it's a nice eyelet in there, so that should be good. Um, so I've been working on that, um, and that's basically it. I mean... I've been busy, but not like, I'm trying to think of it, like, like I was burnt out on yarn simply because I'd done three weekends back to back to back to back to back. And I know that like, if that's your job, you gotta do it all the time and you gotta really love it. But I'm not sure I could do that full time as a job. Um, I mean, I love helping out. I love helping 100 Ravens. I love going to shows and seeing my friends. But at the same time, I also work five days a week at my regular job. And so basically, Three weekends in a row meant that I didn't have a day off for almost a month, so that was a lot. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like mad that I went to Rhinebeck, I'm not mad that I went to SAF, but I was out and doing stuff, right? Because normally my weekends I stay home, I'm not, I don't go out on my weekends a lot. My weekends are times to, to relax and sit at home and, you know, play video games and stuff. And so I didn't have a relaxed day for almost a month, so that was really hard. I was really tired afterwards. Um, but I've been doing well. Um, I know this is a really crappy episode. I've just kind of rambled through all of it. But, you know, I'm back. Um, I was never really gone. I had every intention of doing an episode. And then my computer decided it hated me. And so now I finally have the software back to edit. So I can finally get this up again. And whatever I recorded, I don't even remember. I think I actually might have... I don't think I ever pulled the file off the camera, but um, it's so out of date now because so much stuff has happened that I'm not even going to bother posting it. I'm just going to I'm just going to go with this one instead of that one being 154 because this one was supposed to be 155. This one's 154 episode 154 because I'm just not. <laughs> um, in other news, it's we've had two snowstorms here. It's snowy right now. Um, I'm going to go to knitting this morning because I went actually the week before Thanksgiving. I went. Um, the week of Thanksgiving, that Tuesday, was when we had our big storm. I got about six inches of snow at my house. I ended up staying working from home because religious school got canceled. Um, and so, um, I worked from home so that I didn't have to drive, but I need to go in today because we have religious school. And the snow's going to be done by the time I actually have to be at work. Um, but I was kind of waiting until, um, waiting until stuff had calmed down this morning to leave the house because it was snowing like half an hour ago. So I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my nine minutes of rambling. Um, likes, subscribes, comments are all very much appreciated, but don't feel obligated. I don't do this to make money. Like I said earlier, I do this because it helps keep myself accountable for what I'm um, doing in my knitting and other things. Um, and that reminds me to move the stitch, to move the marker on this so that I can show y'all next time where this is. Um, Ta-da, marker moved. So, you know, I do this more to keep myself accountable than anything. Um, but, you know, I appreciate the views. I appreciate the comments. If you want to drop me a line and say hi, or if you have a question, feel free to ask. Um, the link to my Ravelry should be in the description on YouTube. If not, I'll put it in. On, I need to double check what's in my YouTube description. I'm honestly not sure anymore. Um, and yeah, so I think that's it. So I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. We're going into the holiday season, so stay safe, stay warm. Don't go crazy in a store and get punched. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but anyways, hope you have a good one, and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye!